we will talk about height growth after 20. Usually boys stop growing after age of 18. Around 96% of boys will stop growing after 18. And this number and even younger in case of girls, they stop growing after age 16. Most of them, more than 90% of girls, stop growing after age of 16. And why it happens? It happens because our bone has growth plates. Growth plates is cartilage on our bones which are closed after some time. It means that this cartilage is able to grow and that's why our bones are growing but this cartilage over time becomes bone and this process is called ossification and sex hormones like testosterone and estrogens stimulate this ossification that's why after puberty boys and girls slowing down their growth and after some time sometimes they stop because of growth plates are closed already and now here is important question if we still have chance after even growth plates are closed and we have several studies about it and first study is important about electrocytical devices and they cause some important height growth it was around 0.5 inches it's not a uh, very high number of course but it's still important growth and why it happens it's uh, the idea of electrocytical devices is electrical stimulation some tissues at this case electrical stimulation of growth plates and it is so that it can reopen those uh, growth plates of course we have we don't know details yet uh, and confirmational studies are needed you know, because uh, it was small scale study and we can say directly and um, we can say exactly even if it's effective but there is new hope and this hope can be breakthrough in time let's see another method is intervention program it's not new it's old but it's effective and it means alternation of anaerobic and aerobic exercises three times per week around 30 minutes anaerobic exercises like pull up for example and uh, weight bearing exercises and uh, four times per week aerobic exercises like jogging biking cycling so uh, it's alternation of anaerobic and aerobic exercises and nutritional support and we have also of a few and small increase in height but it's it's also very important 0.5 inches around and it's still high number anyway it's important number and when we say nutritional support we mean uh, more protein more calcium and more vitamin d3 and vitamins and minerals of course the third solution is growth hormone actual growth hormone has higher result and best results compared to others and it increases height around 2.5 centimeters this study was made uh, the people who uh, whose growth plates already were closed and these participants were from 18 to 25 years old and they get this growth hormone and the average increase height was around one inch or 2.5 centimeters it's considered very important um, height grow but here is important limitation also because uh, growth hormone can increase the risk of cancer 
Of course, it stimulates growth of many tissues and including it can stimulate growth of cancers. That's why it's problem and it's risky. Also, it can increase risk of cardiovascular disease, diabetes risk disease, but these risks are smaller, especially if person is young, healthy, but this cancer risk is reasonable and important and we should consider. Fourth method is supplement blend. This supplement blend is very controversial because uh, we have no consistent findings, but according to some studies, ashwagandha, uh, shatawari and maca roots and ginkgo biloba blend can have some effect, but these findings are not consistent and height growth is minimal also. That's why we can say that there is supplement which can help height growth, it's not correct. Uh, or we don't know yet such supplements uh, that can actually uh, help you to uh, gain uh, height. So supplements is under question mark uh, and other above mentioned uh, methods are much more effective compared to supplement. Decompression is another method which is called spinal decompression. It's negative force on spine and it causes, neg uh, it causes stretching of spine and some height gain. Um, and usually, uh, it, uh, usually for decompression, uh, traction devices are used, special devices, and person uses these procedures around 20, 20 to 30 minutes per day and for several months. And it's important. It's it's not easy and it's not comfortable procedure, but it has some effectiveness. Also, this decompression is cure for many spinal disease. That's why it's considered safe and considered effective also. But effectiveness is still minimal, and not big. And hanging exercises, daily hanging around fifteen to 30 minutes have some height growth effect especially young adults especially for children who have short stature it's uh, one of the most uh, effective method to gain height also for people whose growth place already close but they, they are still young this hanging exercise can have some effects because it stimulates growth hormone production, it stimulates bone growth of spine, and um, it, it really helps uh, height gaining. That's why I think it's one of the most important methods. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.